hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see this is asus full size 17 inch laptop somehow the actual motherboard is no longer functioning and it's not repairable so today in this video i'm going to show you how to replace the entire motherboard by the way the actual model number is asus ux 501v 17 inch one it was running for about two years and then suddenly stopped we checked the actual motherboard which is completely fried out and i ordered from china and i got it in uk within a couple of weeks and the cost was about 125 pound this one came without any uh, external ram only the built-in one and a one ram slot okay so let's show you what you need to do that so first of all you should have Phillips screwdriver in a couple of different sizes, flat opening tool, especially uh, the metal and plastic boot does help, and the tweezer. Okay, so first of all, if it does turn on for some reason or not, make sure you switch it off, flip the laptop, and take out all the screws. Okay, by the way, this UX501V takes all the pentaloop screws, all of them same in size, silver color. So make sure you do have the right screwdriver to open it up. So let's remove all the screws uh, which is surrounding this laptop. And don't forget to take out another two screws which is right underneath this black pad. Not four of them, only two of them which are right next to the hinges. Now we can remove this metallic back cover by pulling from this side. And the first thing after you removing the back cover, I would suggest to disconnect the battery. That's the first thing before you touch anything else for safety reason. You can get some help from the tweezer from sideways. And now we're gonna remove all the screws from the battery to pull out the battery from the battery location. So those are Phillips screws and all of them silver color. So make sure you keep those separate because there are many screws. Even it looks similar, but all of them are different. So I would suggest you make a kind of diagram and leave a note which screws goes where. And now we're going to remove any sort of removable drive like let's say the memory module ssd hard drive and after that we're going to disconnect all the flex cables those are very important include the wi-fi antenna then the keyboard connector trackpad connectors speaker connectors and lcd connector and then the cooling fan connectors and everything before you pull out the actual motherboard and don't forget this model the actual motherboard laid underneath the hinges so we must have to unscrew the hinges as well otherwise if you pull it you're gonna damage this motherboard so let's carry on hopefully you would enjoy the rest of the video if you have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to reply.
So finally we already replaced the motherboard now I'm going to connect the charger just to check if there is any sign of power yes as you can see it shows charging let's press the power button and see if there is any life otherwise no points to put the back cover we have to open up again if this is not successful so this is always good to give it a try before you finally close it so at the first boot it takes like about 30 to 40 seconds to show up the actual BIOS logo. This is quite positive and it's turning on. So, so now we can close the back cover and everything should be fine. 